Hi there, welcome back to Laravel 5.2 video series. Today we are going to continue our project Build Contact Manager Application. In the previous video, we have learned how to set up layouts for our project, also learned how to load all contacts from the database to our application, then we have learned how to use pagination to limit displaying our contacts, lock one relationship, also learned how to filter contacts by selecting a contact group. In this video, we are going to learn how to create new contact also, we are going to learn about validation to prevent unwanted data. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is modify this add contact button. We left this edit and remove button here and we will discuss in upcoming video. Let's open up the editor and open main.blade.psp file. And here we change uh, this link to contacts.create-route okay uh, if you follow my previous video we have create res uh, resource route which generate routes for our code version let's see in our terminal as you can see here contacts.create-route will uh, would point to contacts slash crit URI. Uh, let's say we try to access new, which does not exist in our route. Now, reload the page. And here we got error because we try to access the route that is not exist. Uh, now, let's restore to previous route. Save. And reload the page again. Okay, the error is gone. Let's start to click this link. We get another error that say crit method is does not exist. Now let's go back to contacts controller. And inside this class we add crit method. And for now, let's return a message. Create new contact. Save. Reload. Okay. The error is gone. Uh, instead of return the string, let's show the form. To do that, let's remove this link and return view. Okay, because we haven't created the file yet, let's create now. Here in the contacts folder, we create new file. Save as create.blade.php and extend from main layout. Uh, provide a section here. And here in the section content, we show the form. Let's see in our design. In spec element. And copy. And paste here. Okay, save, and let's go back to our browser, reload the page again, there we go, the form is show up, but I think we need to copy the Jasmine bootstrap, Now save and back to browser, reload the page again, okay perfect. Uh, instead of using pure HTML form, let's use form helper. With this helper, we can easily deal with the form, such as model binding, which we will discuss in the next video. 
So let's open up the terminal. And here we install that helper with Composer. And we have wait a little while. Okay, done. Uh, but we still need to make a little bit configuration. Uh, so let's open the config uh, app.php and inside provider key. Here we just add a collective HTML, HTML service provider colon colon class and second we add inside alias one more for HTML okay that's it now we can go back to create.blade.php file uh, and make a little change to the form. Uh, first we uh, add a form tag. So here we open the form. And the root is point to contacts dot store. Uh, don't forget to <coughs> close the form. Okay, next we change the form element. Form text. And this uh, need at least one parameter that is the field name for our table. The second parameter is default value. We don't need that. And the second parameter is the HTML attributes. We just copy and paste the other uh, form element and change the, the name. And for text area, we need additional parameter, routes. And here, for select form, we change with form select. And we pass uh, here a, a group. A groups variable. This variable is the associative arise that consists of ID and name pair of groups. Uh, since we haven't created this variable yet, let's create in our controller. Here we get all groups and iterate in for each. And here, we collect groups as associated array, which consists of ID as K and group name as value. And after that, let's pass the groups to our view. Now save. Let's go back to browser. 
reload the page. Oops, I think we have to start the server. Reload the page again. Oh, other error here. We have to load group, group model here. Okay, go back to browser, reload again. Okay, uh, it seems nothing happened here, but let's try to click the submit button. Here we get another error that say store method in our controller is does not exist. Let's go back to contacts controller again, and let's create that method. So here we also need a request object to this method parameter. Uh, the request object, uh, the request object hold request that sent from the client. In this case, for uh, from our form. And here we uh, provide the rules for our validation uh, to prevent unwanted data. The name is required and a minimum five in length email also required and filled email and company and to validate let's just call this validate and pass two arguments the first is request object and the second is rules and here uh, when success we just um, message contact saved reload again And here we would show our error message. To do that, uh, let's open the form and show message here. A lot of all provide uh, errors variable to that hold error message. So here we just check if any errors then we show the message, the error message in alert, uh, alert danger class, which is bootstrap provide. And inside this div, we list the message in list item. Okay, now save and go back to browser. Here the message is show, show up and let's enter. Okay. For the email. I think there's typo when we uh, define the email maybe in the form or in controller the message still there oh there we go email okay save okay it's now uh, we're ready to save our data to our database. Let's go again to contacts controller and here uh, just replace this with a command to create or save our contact. 
just a request and all method and after that we redirect to contacts index and pass the message uh, which here contact saved now reload the page again oops we get we got error message again uh, it's about security that Laravel provide and we need to make a little change in our contacts model uh, let's open that file and here we just define uh, protected available and define which field uh, that allow to uh, enter now save uh, and yeah I think it's saved Uh, here we pass message to session so we can uh, check here uh, if any m message in session then we just show uh, that message up Now reload again and entry the other data. Save. Oops, sorry. Save again. Okay. The message is show up. Uh, before I end this video, uh, I want to show last. Uh, entry on top here uh, so here in contact controller I make a little bit more vacation I order by ID with the scanning mode okay now we'll load the page again. Okay, that's it for today. We have learned how to create contact with form helper, also validate our data. In the next video, we would continue our app so we can edit and delete contact. See you then.